welcome or welcome back to Nardis Nook where I talk about all things book related. For today's video, I decided to film a March TBR because I missed two weeks of uploading and I don't want to do like another reading vlog because I, I know that that could get repetitive and boring. But these are all the books that I want to read in March and I'm going to pray and hope that I can read all of them in March. I can keep you updated throughout the month if you guys follow me on my Instagram. It's gonna be linked down below. But let's get started. Let me show you guys the books that I wanna read. The first one is Addicted to You by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This is about a girl who is addicted to sex and a guy who is addicted to alcohol. And then they start to realize that maybe they really aren't addicted to these other things. Maybe their vices are actually each other. Because they do live together and they do um, enable each other in a way. So it is supposed to be like a romance, spicy novel. And I'm really excited to read this. I've been wanting to read this for like the entire month of February, but I just couldn't get my hands on it. I could have, but I chose other books to get my hands on first. But now that I have it, this is probably going to be my very first read of March, actually. Oh, by the way, all of these are not in a particular order. They're just the books that I want to read throughout the month. The next book I have is The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. Um, I think I saw Haley Pham, I think, talk about this book on her YouTube channel, and she said that it was a really, really good book. It's about a woman named Casey, right? Yeah, her name is Casey, and she lives across the lake um, from a couple named Catherine and Tom. And she saves Catherine one day from drowning and she starts to realize that Catherine and Tom's relationship isn't so perfect as everybody makes it out to be. And it's supposed to be like this psych thriller type of book and I've never read Riley Sager but I have this book and I also have Final Girls which is another book that I want to read but it's not like on high up on the list yet. So yeah. I'm, like, I, I'm really excited to see how this is. The next book I have is Verity by Colleen Hoover. I feel like I talked about this book in a few videos ago. I think my very first video actually. And I never got the chance to read it. I kind of just bought other books and it just kind of got pushed back on my TBR list. And yeah, it is about a woman who is a struggling, art, uh, struggling author who um, gets a job what is it about? <laughs> ah! It is about a woman who is a struggling writer and this guy named Crawford ends up hiring her to help finish his ill wife's, um, like, novel, I guess? Yeah, and she ends up using a lot of life stories to finish this book up and it just ends up turning into a world run of problems basically i think that i've seen i've seen reviews on it and people say that she like goes crazy over the husband and they, they kind of start an affair i don't know if that's true or not so that's my spoiler the next book i have is then she was gone by lisa jewel or G well at home. I don't know how to pronounce her name. This is about a girl named Ellie who goes missing and her mom ends up meeting this guy named Floyd and his daughters. His youngest daughter named Poppy ends up resembling her daughter Ellie who was the one that disappeared so well to the point where she's like okay I want to know where my daughter went. I want to know who this poppy girl is. I want to know who Floyd is and I want to know why we randomly met in a cafe one day. So it is a psych thriller and I think I mentioned this book a while ago too but I haven't gotten the chance to read it. The next three books are by the same author. I got the series actually. Well it's kind of a series. It's not really a series. They just, they all have the same theme. 
It is Electric Idol, Wicked Beauty, and Radiant Sin by Kate Robert. I read Neon Gods by Kate Robert. All of these books are spicy novels based on Greek mythology. There's also one that comes out. Oh, you can see the books stacking up behind the camera. Okay, I'll move that one. I There's also one coming out this year in August that I want to get. That's the final one, I think. And I'm going to definitely get that one because I have, obviously, all the others. And the last two books that I want to read this month are The Inheritance Games Trilogy. I read The Inheritance Games, but I have not read The Hawthorn Legacy nor The Final Gambit. I want to read both of these this month to finish off the series. The Inheritance Games was absolutely lovely. I think I rated it a 4 or 5 star. It kept me very interested and very, like, what the fuck is the story? Like, I'm confused. But it also ended in a, like, twist and turn of, like, excuse me? So I don't want to, like, give too much away. So I definitely can't wait to read this one and this one. That was all the books that I am reading this month or that I'm going to hope. That's two, four, six, eight, ten books. I'm going to attempt to read 10 books this month. I've read 6 between January and February, like 12 in total, obviously, but 6 each month. So I can definitely think that I can read 10. I feel like that's very lightweight um, to other people, but it, it is a lot for me because like, I don't read all day, every day. I, um, I used to read multiple books at once, which I want to start doing again because it did help me read and go through. A lot of books very quickly but it's an it's another thing of like you pick up a book and you like you read through it and then you don't want to finish it I have one two three four books that I bought this year that I did not finish I started them I tried to finish them, but they were not, like, up to par for me, and it just wasn't, like, it is what it is, you know? So, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, I will see you guys next week. What? No, that's not English. I'm tired. I need to go to sleep. <laughs> if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!